Hi, my name is Monica. I'm from cookie.com and I'm here today to tell you about the Advanced Preloader widget. So the widget allows you to create a fully customizable preloader. I'll show you a sample. So as you can see, it comes with some animations. It comes with four different animations. You can also fully style the percentage indicator and the loading bar that it comes with. You can also add your own text and your own graphics. So I'll show you how to do that in Muse. So let's go to the library and grab the widget. So when you drag the widget onto the canvas, it comes with some sample text, the loading bar, and the percentage indicator. If you wanted to, you could delete all of those and just put your own graphics and your own animations. It would work. So I'm just going to put some text. The loading bar is fully customizable. The same thing with the percentage indicator and number. You can style it in the text panel. You can also style the percentage sign. I'm going to add one of the animations. You can position all of your different objects within the container. You can pin them, you can align them. One thing to remember when you're working with a widget is to make sure that everything that you want in the widget is inside of this container. Because if it's not in here, it's not going to show up. Now you don't have to have the loading bar or the percentage indicator in here if you don't want. You can always delete it, but make sure if you take it off the canvas, you actually just delete it and you just don't leave it hanging out there. In the widget panel, you are able to choose the placement. So I'm going to put mine in the top left. You can also change the color of the preloader. So let's say you make it pink or yellow. That means your entire preloader will become yellow. The color will cover the entire screen. If you wanted to, you could also use an image as your background. And that will also expand to fill the entire screen. One great thing about this widget is that you don't have to worry about making it the same size as your page. You can just leave it as this container, the same size right here, and it'll automatically resize itself to cover the page no matter how big or small it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and preview. And here is our preloader with the animation and the text. Um, one thing you might notice is that the percentage indicator isn't working. That's because we're using this as an example. When you're actually using the widget, the preloader will show for as long as it takes your page to load. If you want to see samples of how the preloader works, you can go to the advanced preloader page and click on samples and there's four different samples that you can view. Well, that's all that I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you want some more information, you can always view the documentation that has a lot of in-depth information about all the different features of the widget.